Picture this, the soft glow of a vintage television screen, the faint hum of its cathode ray tube, and the hushed anticipation in the air as the opening credits roll. As you sit there, perhaps in your childhood living room or your grandparents' den, one name emerges on the screen, etching itself into your memory, Judith Anderson. It might have been her distinctive voice, her commanding presence, or the characters she brought to life that left an indelible mark on your young mind. Judith Anderson, a name that evokes nostalgia for many, was an actress whose talent transcended generations. Her career spanned the golden age of Hollywood in the vibrant world of Broadway, making her a true icon of the silver screen and the theater. But what made her truly remarkable were the layers of complexity she added to each character she portrayed. Whether it was Lady Macbeth's haunting ambition or Mrs. Danvers' eerie devotion, Judith Anderson had a knack for bringing depth and nuance to her roles that made them unforgettable. Now, let's delve into some random facts about this enigmatic actress, from her Australian roots to her enduring impact on the entertainment industry. So, sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the life and career of Judith Anderson, a name that still lingers in our hearts and minds. Judith Anderson, a remarkable actress of her time in the annals of Hollywood's history, there are luminaries who have left an indelible mark on the silver screen. One such name that often gets overshadowed by the glitz and glamour of her contemporaries is Judith Anderson. Born on February 10, 1897, in Adelaide, South Australia, she was destined for greatness, even though her path was unconventional and filled with challenges. Anderson's journey to stardom was far from ordinary. She began her career not on the silver screen, but on the stage. Her love for the theatre led her to study acting at the Theatre of the Arts in London and later in New York City. Her early years were marked by struggles, as she often faced financial hardships, but her determination remained unshaken. One of the lesser-known facets of Anderson's career is her fascination with playing complex and formidable characters. She didn't shy away from portraying powerful women who defied societal norms. Her portrayal of Lady Macbeth in a 1941 production of Shakespeare's Macbeth on Broadway received critical acclaim. Her performance was so mesmerizing that it earned her a Tony Award, and she became the first actress to be nominated for an Emmy for the same role when it was adapted for television. Anderson's contribution to cinema is equally impressive, though she made fewer films than her contemporaries. One of her most memorable roles was that of Mrs. Danvers in Alfred Hitchcock's psychological thriller Rebecca. Her portrayal of the sinister and obsessed housekeeper earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, solidifying her place in Hollywood history. Throughout her career, Anderson displayed remarkable versatility. She effortlessly transitioned between the stage and screen leaving her mark in both mediums. Her ability to convey a wide range of emotions and capture the essence of her characters was a testament to her exceptional acting talent. In addition to her acting prowess, Anderson was known for her dedication to her craft. She was a lifelong learner, constantly honing her skills and seeking new challenges. Her commitment to her work and her tireless pursuit of excellence set her apart from many of her contemporaries. As a trailblazer for women in the entertainment industry, Judith Anderson's legacy endures. She proved that gender was no barrier to success in a male-dominated field and paved the way for future generations of actresses. Her influence is still felt today, and her performances continue to inspire aspiring actors and actresses worldwide. In her personal life, Anderson was known for her discretion and maintained a private existence. She passed away on January 3, 1992, at the age of 94, leaving behind a legacy that will forever be etched in the annals of entertainment history. In conclusion, Judith Anderson was a remarkable actress who defied convention and left an indelible mark on both the stage and screen. Her ability to tackle complex and powerful roles, her dedication to her craft, and her pioneering spirit make her a true icon of the entertainment world. Her story is a testament to the enduring power of talent, determination, and resilience in the pursuit of one's dreams. Dame Judith Anderson's remarkable role as Medea Judith Anderson, a renowned actress of her time, is remembered for her exceptional performance as Medea in the adaptation of Euripide's tragedy, Medea. This adaptation, specifically crafted for Anderson, not only earned critical acclaim but also secured the prestigious New York Drama Critics Award. It was a standout moment in her career, showcasing her extraordinary talent in the world of theater. 
One particularly memorable incident from her Broadway run of Media involved conductor Arturo Toscanini. He was so deeply moved by Anderson's portrayal in the title role that he nearly toppled out of his stage box while applauding enthusiastically. This incident attests to the power and impact of Anderson's performance in this iconic role. Dame Judith Anderson's life came to a close on January 3, 1992, just 38 days shy of what would have been her 95th birthday on February 10th. Her legacy lives on in the world of acting, with her body cremated as per her wishes. Judith Anderson's portrayal of Medea remains a memorable chapter in the history of theater, with her talent leaving an indelible mark on those who had the privilege to witness it. Judith Anderson, a renowned actress of her time, achieved a remarkable feat in her career. She became the first and possibly the only actress to win two Emmy Awards for portraying the same character, Lady Macbeth, in separate television productions of William Shakespeare's Macbeth. The first of these wins came in 1954 in the Hallmark Hall of Fame production of Macbeth, where she shared the screen with the leading actor, Morris Evans. Anderson's powerful performance as Lady Macbeth earned her the first Emmy Award. However, she didn't stop there. In 1960, she reprised the role in another television production of Macbeth, once again alongside Morris Evans. This time, her compelling portrayal of the character earned her a second Emmy Award, solidifying her place in television history. But Judith Anderson's talent extended beyond her iconic role as Lady Macbeth. In 1948, she won a Tony Award for Best Actress, dramatic for her portrayal of the title character in Media on Broadway. This notable achievement was shared with Catherine Cornell for Antony, and Cleopatra and Jessica Tandy for A Streetcar Named Desire. Her excellence on stage continued in 1959 when she brought the character of Medea to television. In 1982, she received a Tony nomination for her role as the nurse in Medea, and she repeated this performance in a 1983 telecast of the play. In recognition of her significant contributions to the performing arts, Judith Anderson was honored with the title of Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 1960 Queen's New Year's Honors List. This prestigious award underscored her enduring impact on the world of theater and her dedication to her craft. Judith Anderson's career was marked by remarkable achievements, including her Emmy wins for portraying Lady Macbeth and her Tony Award for Medea. Her legacy as a talented and versatile actress endures, and her contributions to the performing arts continue to be celebrated. Judith Anderson, a distinguished actress, made her soap opera debut as Minx Lockridge in NBC's Santa Barbara in 1984. This marked a unique turn in her career as she ventured into the realm of daytime drama. Surprisingly, Santa Barbara was set in her hometown, a curious coincidence. When asked about her decision to join a soap opera, she simply replied, Why not? It's practically the same as doing a play. Her career is well documented in the biography actresses of a certain character, 40 familiar Hollywood faces from the 30s to the 50s by Axel Nissen. This book sheds light on her contributions to the world of acting, particularly during the golden era of Hollywood. In 1984, after a 14-year hiatus from the screen, Judith Anderson returned to the big screen with a memorable role as the Vulcan High Priestess Tilar in Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. Leonard Nimoy personally selected her for the role. It's noteworthy that Judith had never watched Star Trek before and was unaware of the series. However, after watching episodes like A Mock Time, she became enthusiastic about the story and embraced the opportunity to be part of the film. Judith Anderson's career was marked by versatility and a willingness to explore new horizons, whether it was in soap operas or iconic sci-fi franchises. Her contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be celebrated. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the illustrious career of Judith Anderson, I invite you to pause and reflect on the profound impact she has had on the world of entertainment. Her performances, like the finest threads of a tapestry, have woven themselves into the very fabric of our cultural memory. Perhaps you recall the chilling intensity of her portrayal as Mrs. Danvers in Rebecca, or the commanding presence she brought to life as Gertrude in Hamlet. Each character she embodied was a masterpiece, etched with her unparalleled talent and dedication. 
Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Judith Anderson's performances. Whether it's a moment that sent shivers down your spine or a line of dialogue that still resonates in your heart, your stories are a testament to the lasting impact of this remarkable artist. In doing so, we celebrate not just the characters she portrayed, but the depth of emotion and authenticity she infused into every role. Judith Anderson transcended the boundaries of the stage and screen leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Thank you for joining us on this journey of remembrance and appreciation for Judith Anderson. Your time and interest are deeply valued as we continue to honor the legacy of this extraordinary talent.